I, if you've taken an English course or gone to English school, chances are very good that you've learned to read, write, listen, and possibly learn how to speak in English. But chances are also very good you have never been taught how to think in English. And it's very important that you think about thinking in English because you're probably still thinking in your native language. It's been proven that games and exercises that will help you think in English will make you more native-like because then you don't hesitate when you want to speak and say something because you're thinking in English. Today, I want to show you a very simple exercise. This exercise is only about 12 or 13 minutes long, but I guarantee it's going to help you with your thinking in English skills. The words may seem very simple, but what you're doing is you're processing the information in your brain in English, and that will help you a lot. So let's get ready to do this exercise, thinking in English. Let's get started. Welcome to the Think in English sessions. If you've studied English in school or taken classes at night, you know that they teach the four basic English skills, speaking, writing, reading, and listening. Speaking and writing are considered the productive skills, while reading and listening are the receptive skills. But what about understanding? Have you ever been taught how to understand English? And what about thinking? Learning to think in English is very important if you want to really master English. Now you may be stuck in what I call the translation loop. You hear the question in English and your brain translates it into your native language. Then it answers the question in your native language and translates the answer back again into English. Now if you are doing that, you are definitely not thinking in English. So I have designed these exercises to help you think in English. I have designed the exercises so that you can't translate into your native language. You need to think in English to get the answer. The words in the exercise may seem simple, but I guarantee once you complete these exercises, you'll be thinking in English. So let's get started. I call this series of exercises Word Detective. You will be using words to answer the questions. So, what are these jumbled words and what do they have in common? The first word I want you to do is the word with the asterisk. I will give you five seconds. And the answer is yellow. The next word is white. The next word is purple, green, black, brown. So what do they have in common? Of course, they are all colors. Yellow, white, purple, green, black, brown. That's just to get you warmed up. Let's get to the next session. And the first word train. And the second word is airplane. The next word is helicopter. The next word is bicycle. Next boat. And finally, lorry. So train, airplane, helicopter, bicycle, boat, and lorry. And these are all ways of getting around or transportation. 
The next session is a little bit different. We want you to answer a quiz. What is something without light? Dark. Something that's very big. Huge. What's the opposite of love? Hate. What is something you can do it with your ears? Here. Let's keep going. What's an animal with wings? A bird. To feel pain? Hurt. Something that is difficult to do. Hard. And a very small child is a baby. Okay, let's go back to jumbled words. Only this time, besides the jumbled words, you see we have five letters and identified with the squares. When we know the words, we can make another five letter word from those letters that are in the box. So let's get started. The first one, money, and the letter is E. The second word is coat, and the letter is A. The third word is dream, and the letter is R. The fourth word is tree, and the letter is T. So we see the letters are E-A-R-T, and the last word is lunch, and the missing letters are all shown now, and we can say E-A-R-T-H, and the missing letters form the word earth. Let's continue. The first word is sweet. The next word is hair. The third word is right. And we see the letters are starting to form. W H E. The next word is vase or vase. And the last word is relax. And the hidden word is W H E E L. Wheel. Now I want you to think about this. Don't be discouraged that you can't do these, this exercise. This is a new exercise for you. You've never, never had this kind of exercise before. So it's something new for you and it will take some practice. But I guarantee once you get good at this exercise, your thinking English will get much better and your English overall will get much better as well. Let's continue. I want you to think of two letters that are missing that will make three words. So there's two letters in front of the first and second word and the last two letters of the three words in the third place. So I give you 10 seconds to do the first group of words. And the two letters are FR, fruit, fridge, France. 10 seconds to do the second group. And the two letters are MU, museum, mushroom, music. And the last two letters of the three words in the third group. Here's 10 seconds. And the two letters are VE, glove, survive, dive. Let's continue. Two letters, three words. 10 seconds for the first group of three words. And the two letters are D, 
D-I. Diary, discuss, dinner. So take 10 seconds to do the second group of words. And the letters are T-R. True, traffic, tractor. And finally, two letters to finish the three words in the third group. Take 10 seconds. And the two letters are O-R, monitor, horror, doctor. Now, this gets more interesting. I want you to finish the first word and start the second word with the same letters. So look at the first word or words and see what three letters will make two words. 10 seconds. And the three letters are L-E-T. Toilet is the first word. Letter is the second word. All right, take 10 seconds to do the second word group. And the two letters are A-L. Mineral is the first word. Alcohol is the second word. Now take 10 seconds to do the third group. And the two letters are SH, finish and shower. Let's keep going. 10 seconds to do the first group. And the three letters are K-E-T. The first word, of course, is jacket. The second word is ketchup. Now you need two letters to finish the second word group. Here's 10 seconds. And the two letters are A-N. The first word is ocean. The second word is animal. Let's continue. 10 seconds to do the third group. And the third words are Chair Ireland. Chair is the first word. Ireland is the second. Now we're going to move to another section. In this section, can you find the jumbled words and rearrange the letters? One word has the letters mixed up. Find that word and rearrange the letters so that you get the correct word. Let's start. 10 seconds. And the word is drawer. My niece keeps her school things in her drawer. Let's keep going. 10 seconds. If you want to work abroad, you need to speak foreign languages. On we go. 10 seconds. The armchair was so comfortable, I nearly fell asleep. And again, 10 seconds. There are many tourists in the city center. 10 seconds. If the weather is fine, we will go on an outing. And the last one. My grandparents live next door, so I often have lunch there after school. This is the end of session one, Think in English. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back and review it whenever you can. Well, I hope you enjoyed that exercise in thinking in English. It's very important to develop your thinking in English skills so that you can process English quicker and faster. We'll be making a few more videos to show you 
even more exercises to help you improve your thinking skills. It's vital that you really perfect those thinking skills so that you can process English in a more native-like and natural manner. And then you will become more fluent and natural as a speaker. There's more coming up later, so stay tuned if you're subscribed, and we will see you later. And I'm hoping that you will have your English breakthrough very soon. Bye for now.